I built my new Core i7 machine, well I guess it's not new anymore, uh, close to a year ago now. I can't believe it's almost been that long already. Uh, when I bought it, I bought a solid state drive uh, to go along with it. It was a cheap, I think I paid like $80 for it, uh, just a 32 gig solid state drive. Works great for quite a while and then it started slowing down. Uh, I made sure trim, trim was running and uh, and all those type of things. Everything you would do to uh, you know make sure your SSD is running at uh, the best performance it can, and it just kept slowing down and slowing down. Finally, today I reinstalled Windows, uh, reformatted it, and just uh, did a clean install just to see if that would help. And because it's a good idea to do that every few months anyway, and I was way past due for a clean install, so I did that, and I'm about to show you the results. Um, I've got my uh, my cell phone here. I got a timer, so I can time how long this takes to boot up, uh, boot into Windows, and we'll uh, we'll see how long this takes here. This is again on a clean install of Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit on my solid state drive. Uh, there was definitely an improvement between before and after reinstalling. Uh, but I wouldn't say it was the improvement I was looking for. So we'll let it go through the BIOS, and then as soon as it gets past the screen that says loading operating system, and the OS actually starts loading. Uh, that's when I will start the timer here, and we'll see uh, we'll see how long it takes us to fully boot into Windows 7. Okay, so loading operating system uh, now. All right, and off it goes, and it's uh, not password protected or anything, so it'll automatically log me in. I will stop the timer as soon as we see the Windows desktop since that's when it's done because I have uh, absolutely no startup programs at all. We're on the welcome screen 20 seconds in so not too bad. This is what I don't get though is why it takes so long uh, on on the welcome screen. This, this takes about 20 seconds uh, right here so you'll see my my boot time is uh, not good. We're still Still on the welcome screen. Still waiting. Still waiting. 45 seconds in. And stop. 48.55 seconds. So about 48, 49 seconds to boot into Windows on an SSD. That is ridiculous. That should never happen. And that is exactly why you should never buy a cheap SSD. Spend the money, get an Intel or get one from whatever manufacturer you want, but look into it and if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Don't waste your money. Not that it was a complete waste, because it's kind of nice. Just it's, it's bragging rights, basically. I mean, accessing, and now that I'm booted into Windows, accessing everything else is great. Accessing files and applications that are saved on the SSD after boot is uh, <clears throat> exactly what I'd expect it to be, very, very fast. It's just the boot time. So if you have any tips or solid state drive uh, suggestions for me what I could upgrade to in order to decrease my boot time, I want to get back down to around about 15 to 20 seconds if uh, at all possible. Leave me a comment in the comment section below or just leave any comment at all you have uh, about this video. I would appreciate that very much and I will try to respond to them all. Also if you click the thumbs up button and favorite this video if you liked it, that would be great as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Dylan Combs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.